Hey guys, I'm back again. Yeah, been a while again. Oh well, you get that bit of bit of some bit of fun happening around the place lately. This little fella here, this little fella, I dare say most of you remember it. Well, it's going to have a rather unfortunate accident. Uh, Let's just say it's going to meet a couple of them. <laughs> just to be a little bit of a little bit of fun. I've got a nice little Blu-ray player here. Needs some TLC. See if I can actually get the thing to work again. But the purpose of this little video is this little fella. You probably notice my rather bodgy looking setup back there but a nice little Phillips hang on let's get some let's get some light on here little Phillips 50 watt mercury vapor lamp and it's brand new I don't know if you can see inside it have a look at the what you can see of the arc tube there it's brand new never been lit until now so I am only going to light it up on 18 watts not its full 50 this is a little test just to see how well it color how well it colors up so we'll get rid of that light we will get rid of that one as well Make it all nice and dark. And you can probably just see the bulb there now. There we go. It does seem to look a little redder on camera than the nice nice little pink glow that they that they generally tend to have. And uh, let's just watch this little fella kick along, shall we? It's definitely not going to get up to full brightness, that's for sure. What I want to see is if it's going to actually get rid of, actually going to lose the pink. It'll actually see if it'll actually get to its to its normal uh, bluish white. a slight flicker there. You can, see, you can see it on the on the camera it does look it looks a lot lighter in colour than it than it does than it actually does in person here. But I just want to see just how bright this thing will actually get. Not that I'm expecting much. That laptop power supply is definitely in for destruction. As you can see by the lamp there, it's it looks like it's it's normal colour on camera, but it's not quite gotten rid of the pink yet. Of course I have my little smiley over the corner, it's still ticking away. And you see there now the pink is mostly gone, not 
a hundred percent, but mostly. And it's not throwing out a lot of light. But that poor lamp hot at all. That poor lamp might end up meeting this one. It is very, very... Actually, the dark tube in this looks quite good. But, the phosphor coating is gone. Now that we have that one, And look at that, 18, 18 watts through it, it's been running for a few minutes and is not too hot to handle. Now let me see if that one is going to fire again, ever. That's my little 80 watt one that's, um, yeah it's had a bit of a hard life this 80 watt, 80 watt mercury lamp, but it's still going. It's had 11 kilowatts dumped through it. And uh, it just has died. I think what I may end up doing with it is uh, breaking it open and taking the arc tube out of it. Give it a little bit of torture that way. that. Well, you can see that 18, 18 watts is enough to get these to light and to get them to colour up for the, most, for the most part. But not full brightness as, as expected. Now, another little project that I've got in the wings is a ballast box that'll run anything from 18 watts right the way up to 400. And if I want to go any more, any more than that, I'll just use my 400 watt ballast I've got kicking around. Yeah, there's one down there, there's a couple up the back here. And it might be time to get the server Get me a little server up and running again. And yes, I do actually have a small collection of light bulbs. Like Little 25 watt microwave oven bulb, and my camera just does not want to stay where it is, where it's supposed to be. Anyhow, guys, all I all I must say is don't try this at home. Leave it to people that are well trained in handling lamps of that lamps of that type and the equipment to run them. Above all else guys, play safe and see you next time.